Hello, reality. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, the regular host and anchor to this ministry. Like we used to do, to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have different answers have been done. I have the assurance that the Lord has taken care of your own concerns in this ministry. You just have to join our social media handles and watch the videos that are uploaded over 600 of them. Before you finish going through them, you must have discovered how much the Lord has dealt with your importance. Alright, so we urge you to use the comment section for your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you. And also help us to share these messages to let them go viral because the light has no need that devotion. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to study at the foot of the cross, to learn the truth that set men free. But we ask, the Lord, Lord, that you feed us this morning. Lord, wash us by your blood and help us to grow in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. We are talking about apathy by the grace of God. And the question that we are still dealing on is, what can I do when I begin to feel apathetic? All right, so uh, uh, the first uh, outline that I want you to also read it up this morning. But I will go through the summary, which is read the uh, second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. I want you to read it now. What the summary of that is saying that uh, we are to watch the company that we keep. Apathy can be contagious, yes. When you show me your friend, I will tell you who you are. So read it up first of all. Now in, in Proverbs chapter uh, 12, verse 27, we have said, lazy people don't even cook. The game they what they catch, but the diligent make use of everything they find. Yes. So diligent make use of everything they find. That is the summary. Now also see Proverbs chapter 12, verse 11. It said, a hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies has no sense. Wow. Proverbs 13 verse 4. Lazy people want, want much but get little, but those who work hard will prosper. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 11. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's businesses. Uh, second, Timo, uh, second John chapter one verse eight. Watch out! Watch! Uh, watch out that you do not lose what you we have worked so hard to achieve. Be diligent so that you receive your full reward. Revelation three nineteen. I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. All right. So in Romans 12, 11, never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Now, what is the summary of all this is that one of the best cure for apathy is hard work. When you work hard, you become productive. The more productive you are, the more you are satisfied and fulfilled. Even better, when you see your hard work as an act of service to God, you gain more energy as you see God working through you to bless others. Praise God. I want us to stop here now. I want to give opportunity to those who are not born into God to confess prayer and say, Lord, I come into my life this morning. Please save me from eternal hell and damnation. Write my name in the book of life, the little from the book of death. I want to live and reign with you in the planet. Thank you for saving my soul in Jesus. Now we pray. Amen. So if you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. And I encourage you to continue to fellowship with us. The Lord has prepared all these messages to you. And you can never get it strong fellowshiping with us. May the Lord uphold you, sustain you to you get into that maturity to become what the Lord wants you to become in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a fruitful day. Jesus' name. Amen.